What's up Gemini? This is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of July. This is for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. I also do um, readings on TikTok and Instagram as well, guys, pretty regularly. So if you're interested in keeping up with me on there, I do have the details in the description box as well. And finally, I just want to give a big shout out to my girl, Jamie, who um, gave me this kick-ass tea. And she's a very talented artist and creative based in New York. And if you want to get a bit more info on her art, I have attached also a link to her website in the description box. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of July. Any love messages for my Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first two weeks of July. Chariot card, the Empress, and the Knight of Swords. Beautiful. The Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Wow, and the Two of Cups. Wow, 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 Gemini. This is really nice, okay? Cherry card, perseverance, positive movement forward towards um, a situation that's very expansive for you. There could be someone rushing towards you, um, you know, ready to kind of move forward on something very committed. We have the Empress and the Emperor. This could be someone that's building a future with you. Husband, wife, mother, father, kind of in energy. Empress card could be fertility if that's on the cards for some of you, you know, motherhood. Um, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the overall with the Knight of Wands. So there's this sort of taking passionate action with someone, but it's, you know, the Knight of Wands can be that kind of in and out player energy. And I'm not getting that because the surrounding cards are not showing me that. What I'm getting really is, is this is someone you know, coming in with a lot of passion and desire um, and this sense of rushing forward and moving towards something that's very committed, okay? Because the Two of Cups, this is a soul connection. And the Emperor card here tells me this is someone that really wants to work and grow with you and build a solid foundation, okay? I'll get a little bit more clarity on why we have a Knight of Swords, which I've taken as rush communication, forward movement. The Hierophant wanted to jump out, but we've got the Moon, on the page of wands beautiful so the page of wands is an is an opportunity and offer a communication again this is passionate communication it's also about new perspectives and new directions so if you have been dealing with a situation where maybe it's been a bit on and off in and out or the passion's been a bit on and off in and out between the two of you this could be taking things in a new direction the moon card is like maybe things have been unclear or maybe there have been a bit of blocks okay perhaps the the in and out sort of energy has been a little bit more linked to sort of subconscious stuff. Maybe there's been some fears, some fears in moving forward, um, or maybe things have been unclear. Perhaps you live at a distance from this person with the chariot card, or there's things that, um, you know, have been creating uh, murkiness between you and this person. And that can be sometimes our own blocks. Okay, or maybe you're dealing with someone that has some fears or some blocks when it comes to commitment. But the Knight of Swords could be them cutting away whatever is being sort of blocking or interfering or you working together to do that because the Empress and the Emperor is a pair. Okay, they work together. So tell me a little bit more about the Moon, Strong Pisces energy, Libra, Taurus, Aries. Um, we've got Earth sign energy, so Capricorn, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, pretty much everything. And strong Cancer with a chariot. Okay, tell me a bit more. The lovers, as I said. So this is a pair. This is, um, lovers card can be about taking things to the next level, moving in together, children, all that stuff. This is um, lo strong love connection, contracts. This is a soul contract between you and this person. Um, and the King of Swords, this is someone that wants to speak honestly with you. They want to have a conversation with you. Um, Gemini, this could also be you in a masculine energy. It's air sign energy. Or you could be dealing with another air sign, having conversations um, and planning. Okay, this is also diplomacy. So if there has been lack of clarity or you haven't been on the same page with this person, this is about sort of working on common goals, um, fairness, diplomacy, right? Maybe you've had arguments with this person. Neither sorts can be a bit of that. Maybe the arguments cause conflict, um, 
sorry, cause confusion with the moon um, or withdrawal, Knight of Wands in and out. Um, and now this is like getting on the same page um, where things have been very stuck. Okay, the hanged man. So hangman is a card of surrender as well. So letting go of things that are not working. King of Swords also knows how to cut things out or how to think clearly and plan um, and cut through uh, confusion as well. King of Swords is very sharp. So the moon, like I said, this is like lack of clarity, but the King of Swords is getting very clear on maybe things that need to be resolved, cut away, cut out to move forward. Um, if there's been issues, say, you know, blocks, right? So I'm talking more on that deeper level. It's like someone that's seen very clearly, okay, um, maybe there are things that needed to be worked on um, that were blocking the connection, right? So things coming to the surface to be worked on and let go of. Okay, tell me a little bit more. Right, death card, exactly. And an end to things being in suspension. So we're going from sort of maybe where things felt like on pause, not moving, Maybe by now, Gemini, you're a bit like one foot in, one foot out. Like, I don't know if this is for me. I'm not clear. Something seems to be blocking this or um, even if it's energetic or even it's because we can't be on the same page or in and out kind of an energy. It's like there's a transformation happening here with the death card. Okay. Um, let's get a little bit more. For some of you, there could have been murkiness because... Maybe there's been some kind of an outside energy. This is for a very small portion of you because the lovers card can be choices. It can mean that there's another person in the mix. Um, but for most of you, I just think that there's been something here that needed to be kind of um, worked through, okay? And there's a page of cups, beautiful. So there's an offer and opportunity coming in for some kind of a new beginning. The sun card, happiness, joy, some of you this is fertility pregnancy okay because the sun card in the right away there's a baby here um but we're going from the moon to the sun so this is something becoming very clear where it wasn't clear or getting on the same page with this person okay let's um get you guys some um, romance angels romance angels please for gemini new love okay so new love renewing the love kind of an energy um attraction beautiful so there's a lot of attraction here between you and this person love yourself first mm -hmm. your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so there could have been a lesson wrapped up in this like i did say with the moon it could be that there were some blocks because there was a little bit of this things needed to be balanced out maybe you were investing more gemini and Maybe you need to take back some power and control because the Empress sort of knows her worth and her value and she also knows how to invest in herself equally as she gives love, um, you know, externally. Then we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I told you there's someone coming in that wants to take it to the next level. And then free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. There was something that you needed to take back control of, Gemini. As I said, I think it had more to do with the moon. So subconscious blocks fears maybe you were dealing with someone that needed to free themselves of things that were blocking them or maybe like i said for a small portion of you there was a pause or a hold because something had to be wrapped up or there was a decision that needed to be made maybe someone had to free themselves from something outside of your connection stay optimistic positive thinking and faith brings you romance so some of you have maybe become less an optimistic about the situation but i think that there's a turnaround you deserve love you are lovable yet yeah, maybe and then soulmate okay and then children so i feel like this is a person that wants to maybe have children i've talked about fertility a few times here or maybe there's an ex in the mix or there's children in the mix right and that could have been why there were some blocks or some fears or things that hadn't been wrapped up um, but I feel like the in and out or the on and off or the conflict, um, you know, maybe came also from you needing to reinvest in yourself. Um, you know, maybe this person, their behavior made you feel unlovable or that's like a, a um, shadow that you needed to work through with that moon. And now you're coming into the light, right, with the sun card going from the moon to the sun. Um, or that's a lesson that's become very clear through this soul connection right and then release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so for some of you there was either still an ex maybe in the mix or just the energy of the past that needed to be cleared um that was creating a lot of fears and blockages 
um, between you and this person, right? So um, releasing the past to move forward, okay? All right, Gemini, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks' time. Lots of love.